Since the outbreak of violence between Israel and Gaza, participants at anti-Israel demonstrations across Germany have frequently used anti-Semitic slogans and also called for Jews to be gassed. In France, pro-Palestinian youths have clashed repeatedly with police, and on Sunday set fire to cars, pillaged stores and attacked two synagogues in the Paris suburbs. Jewish groups have expressed shock and disgust about the growing anti-Semitism in Germany and other European countries with strong Muslim communities. Berlin authorities this week banned pro-Gaza protesters from chanting an anti-Semitic slogan. Police spokeswoman Cosima Paulon added Tuesday that police are investigating a sermon last week by a radical imam calling on worshippers at Berlin's Al-Nur Mosque to murder Jews. The death of Klinghoffer was written in 1991. It provoked so much outrage that two of the opera houses that commissioned it decided not to stage it. There have been a handful of productions since then, but nowhere near as many as you'd expect of an opera written by a composer as celebrated as John Adams. So this new production here represents a major risk. And with terrorism dominating headlines more and more since the opera was written, the controversy has refused to go away. I think it's a confused piece uh, in the way that it tries to sit on the fence really regarding what is a brutal terrorist incident, uh, lavishing arias of great lyricism onto the terrorists in a way that somehow seems to be excusing and justifying what is an inexcusable and totally unjustifiable act. Muslims in America today telling Jews, we're going to get you, we're going to throw you out, we're going to kill you, we're going to defeat you. On the street corner in Miami. 